really happy to say that the second editions of Myths of Work and Myths of Social Media have just been released this month. So these are part of Kogan Page's Business Myths series that debunk all sorts of myths across business, across leadership, about work, about social media, and about all of the different topics that are important at work and in the workplace. So Myths of Work and Myths of Social Media are both part of that, and they're both related to business myths. So Myths of Work are some of the fundamental myths, misconceptions, things that people misunderstand about work in the workplace. And this is everything from, you know, myths about sustainability isn't possible or it's too much of a burden in the workplace to how people work, things about remote working and digital work and digital workplaces. Um, the second edition updates some of these to talk more about, you know, remote working and flexible schedules. But even when the first edition was written about six years ago, we were still talking about how important flexible working and autonomy and individual control about your work and doing your best in the workplace is important. The myth or the misconception is is that you know people need to be micromanaged people need to have someone looking over their shoulder people can't work independently whereas really the psychological research overwhelmingly shows and demonstrates that people can work independently people can set their own schedules if you hire skilled people to do a certain job they know what they're doing they have the right talents and skills they'll get it done and really the latest research really bears that out now myths of social media is an interesting one because although it's about social media it's also about social media in the workplace, whether you're looking for a job, whether you're looking to promote your business, if you're in sales or marketing, or just want to understand digital communication and how that is in the workplace, you know, how social media and talking on apps or platforms or different communication tools are affecting your work, your career, your networking, your different pathways in work, or how you should be promoting your new business or your startup, or if you're a leader of a company, how you can use social media both to manage your team and your external communications. And it does that through a series of 30 different myths that are debunked, often debunked, sometimes there's a bit of complexity and nuance, so we discuss that, but it's it's really an interesting kind of fast paced, sometimes humorous way of describing all the things people get wrong about work and social media, but really then putting in the essential information that you should know. And it's really about what the science and the evidence and the research shows is best practice when it comes to communication among teams and among different people and designing good workplaces and understanding how internal communication processes can be better, more productive, more effective and better for people's psychological health and well-being, as well as how to use all of these new and emerging platforms some not so new, not so emerging, but how to use them to communicate with people inside, outside of the workplace and all around the world. So the second editions of both of these books are available now. Mm -hmm.